Welcome to Harvey Bay. I don't know if you can see, there is water, water behind, behind us. us. Yeah. We're just tucked in here out of the wind. It's a bit breezy. <laughs> so that it's a bit less noisy, but we've just driven down today from Rules Beach and we went to Bundaberg along the way, which was fun. We did all the touristy things at Rum. Rum, ginger beer, ginger beer the Bundaberg Rum Distillery, Bundaberg Ginger Beer Factory. Both like worth a visit yeah, for sure. That I think was, so. It was fun. Um, and I did, we have been meaning to update you because we have seen a lot of um, interesting mailboxes along all of our driving in Queensland. A lot of microwaves. A lot of microwaves. <laughs> you know, like country mailboxes that they have on the road when their property is further away but like what did we see we've seen a helicopter a truck a lawnmower some sort of van one today mm -hmm. a lot of microwaves though so that has been kind of funny but now we're going to head to our airbnb to check in and we will show you around as we always do we have arrived at the airbnb and i was just before we do the tour i was just going to show you the location i'm in the driveway literally just across that road is the beach so that's good we planned on pumping the stand up paddleboard up and then just going across there it's really choppy though so i can't imagine we're doing it at the moment but hopefully we'll have calmer days we actually have a garage which is a bit of a novelty which is more than what if we have at our own house <laughs> at our own house we park miles away from our actual house so having a garage with the internal access would be a nice little treat it also has like a Laundry. laundry and stuff inside the garage so that's good we will use that because we haven't had a washing machine for a few days so it's nice and light and bright and airy kind of beachy vibes there's a bathroom here it's got nice and big two sinks and a shower two toilets right next to each other <laughs> and if you come in here there's the kitchen so we have been doing a bit of cooking since we've been um, away we don't like to eat out all the time so this will be good especially full-size fridge that yeah. we had a small fridge at rules beach so it's nice to have a full-size <laughs> fridge and then into the living it's kind of like a dining room living area Bunnings, hats. <laughs> we can rock these at the beach, Dan. <laughs> I don't think so. And then there's two bedrooms, just because there is. So there's one here. Nicely decorated and everything. And then another little one here. There's air conditioning and stuff, but I doubt that we would need anything like that and, and the little, little courtyard. courtyard massive hammock that is very big and a nice nice to have table. an outside so, yeah, table we have enjoyed sitting outside eating outside getting the most of this nice winter weather but it has also made us excited for our own outdoor yeah that's um, true backyard which if you haven't watched <laughs> we've been renovating our backyard um <laughs> And, and it's so, so yeah. close to being finished and now that we're coming into you know in a couple of months it'll be spring and we are hoping to sit out there and enjoy it um, but Dan I think you're gonna have to get in the hammock it's a very large hammock I think it's too large <laughs> I'm gonna hit the ground no you're not <laughs> <laughs> I'm not relaxed <laughs> Every, every, a lot of noise. every muscle in your body is tense. <laughs> is it comfy? No. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Not comfy at all. Good morning. We have had a lovely relaxing, well, relaxing for me. Dan, Dan's been for a run. Um, but yeah, we've had a nice morning. Last night we actually met up with someone that we'd met online that we hadn't met in real life before clara and her husband and we went out to trivia at a place called the boat club it was kind of like a rsl type thing but 
So I wouldn't recommend going there to eat or anything, but it was a fun night. Um, and we had lots of laughs while we played trivia and I reckon we came like a close fourth. There was a lot of teams. Um, so we were very happy with that. Today, um, I'm not sure if Dan's going to attempt the paddleboard. It is a little bit breezy and she needs pristine <laughs> glass-like conditions. Well, she prefers. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it is probably, I've noticed, like, it's a definitely a little bit cooler here, would you say, Dan? Yeah. I think because of the breeze. Uh, still, like, T-shirt weather, I would think. Like, last night we had, like, a, you know, like a light jacket on when we went out, but definitely a little bit cooler than Ellie Beach, but still a lot nicer than home. <laughs> the sun is out, so very happy about that. Um, an interesting thing to note is the water, like the tap water, is really heavily chlorinated. It's undrinkable. Honestly, it's undrinkable. <laughs> it's, un it's undrinkable. We're actually going to go and buy some water to drink because it's very unpleasant. It's almost like you're at the pool. Even just then in the shower, I noticed it's like you're at a heated pool. You know, that chlorine warm smell. Yeah, it's really unpleasant. Um, I mean, we have filtered water at home. So like we have a water filter in our kitchen. So I guess, but even the normal. We also happily drink tap water at most Yeah, well, like we've drunk tap water this whole trip. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, so I don't know why it's so chlorinated here but <laughs> it's just been interesting then we just put some washing on this morning very handy having the washing machine in the um, garage we booked our whale watching so we're going with whale song we've booked that for tomorrow morning at eight o'clock so very excited for that it was kind of uh did it include lunch? Yeah, it does include lunch. It wasn't right. bad. It was a good price to include lunch. I think it was 130 bucks. $130. It goes from 8 until 1, I think. So it was a sort of a longer one. There was quite a few options. And, you know, it's so hard. Like, well, we find it difficult trying to choose what is the best one. <laughs> because we're like, some of them were massive. And we're like, we'd prefer to have a smaller group if we can. Then we found one that was a lot smaller, but then people had said like it was really, like they were sort of getting wet and stuff. And like given that it would probably be quite windy and cold, we don't really want to get wet. And also it was quite short. So we thought the whale song seemed like a good compromise. It's a medium sized boat and it went for five hours. So you should get, like if you're able to find some whales, hopefully, you should get a decent amount of time with them. I mean, it's very, it, I think it's, <laughs> the challenging thing here is they set the expectations very high of what you're going to see because all of the whale um, cruise places advertise like the whales right at the boat and basically like, you know, you could almost reach out and touch them and they're just wallowing there. But, you know, that's probably not most people's experience when they actually do the <laughs> the whale watching cruise um so i'm i'm excited for whatever we see i guess we have been lucky enough to do lots of whale watching before so um yeah we'll see how it goes yesterday afternoon as well we went for a walk along the path that's by the bay which is just across the road so perfect and we walked kind of around to urangan i think that's how you say it and that's, we found like the spot where Dan goes to do the park run tomorrow, which is right there. So that's perfect. And then if we walk the other way, it goes to Torquay. Um, so that's where Dan went for the run this morning. So we're going to go for a walk up there now and find a coffee. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all we got planned for today. I probably need to work on editing our Townsville video, which is the next one to come out. Um, but nothing too exciting planned today. 
I mean, I'm really not doing stand-up paddle boarding in that this, this morning. There's like white caps out there. <laughs> And there's like a gentle <laughs> lapping of the yeah. the water. That's not there, for me. You can actually see there's a bit of a swell. Yeah. So no I way. Mean, hopefully it'll die down at some point. We've got a couple of days. It was a big day on the whale boat. Oh, that <laughs> whale watching tied you yeah. out, did it? Yeah, it did. It was awesome. It was we very went with good. whale song mm -hmm. cruises, what whale watching, whatever their name is, but it's whale song. And we would highly recommend them. There's yeah. like so many options and it's kind of a bit hard to choose, right? Mm, yeah, there was so many options and there's some really big boats and we were kind of like, we don't want to be with hundreds and hundreds of people if we can, just because, you know, you kind of feel like you're jostling for spots or whatever. But yeah. this was I perfect. felt yeah. like I could move around, get right on the rail whenever I wanted to. It's not like I was ever jostling for spots so highly and they were really like the service on board was really nice yep. like when we left the marina they kind of came around and asked if we wanted a tea or coffee and made it for us and brought it over which was really nice um, and it included morning tea and lunch yes and it was pretty standard but it was very um well organized and, and everything aside um, from all that the whales <laughs> Yes, Amazing. we got very lucky. Yeah, that's the best whale watching experience I've had in Australia for sure. Um, when we've been off like Port Stephens, like near Newcastle, it's kind of really bumpy, and you see, like I've seen them from quite a far away. And you away. literally just see the blow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, they came right up to the boat. They seemed really inquisitive because I think like the boats aren't allowed to obviously chase go them up or close to them yeah. but if we were stopped they could come over to us and they were going right under the boat at the back and the front and like kind of turning their heads up to like look at what we were doing and they were sort of encouraging us to make sound like because apparently they are quite interested interested yeah. in <laughs> what's going on so everyone was kind of yelling out <laughs> and everything which was quite funny so we saw two separate pods of two mm -hmm. whales mm -hmm. and the first one we stayed there for like an hour and a half and they were just playing around us um swimming around us that was awesome and then we moved on to let another boat come in and we found another pod mm -hmm. and they took a little while to warm up to they us did. <laughs> but they did two to three full breaches because yeah. there was one big splash that we yes. both missed and then there was two full breaches yeah. that we both saw we didn't capture it on camera but yeah it was amazing and they were close it wasn't like a long way away no. it was like very close though like you could see the whole whale mm. out of the water really clearly and the amazing part was it felt like we'd literally just left they'd come and made us a cup of tea i hadn't even drunk any of my tea no. yet and they're like that like we started seeing them so it wasn't like i guess sometimes we've been and you kind of on the boat for an hour and a half before mm. you get just like honestly we saw them so quickly it yeah. was so cool it's so hard to try and get them on camera because they just like pop up out of nowhere and you don't know but we did get a few good little clips i think we did our best so cue whale montage <laughs> videos <laughs> right now maybe the birds will sing about your Trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope
also, are you finished with the whales? Because I wanted to. I'm just. Say. It was just. I would highly recommend. Like, if you're coming here, I feel like you have. You to, have to. You have, you have to, to be here that. in Wales. And if you come a bit later in August to September, that's when you're more likely to see like mums with their calves and. Um, yeah, I think that's kind of the kind of peak part of like the season's literally only just started. Um, so these ones they were calling they teenagers were or ones, teenagers yeah. or, um, young adults or something that were anyway. So they're humpback whales if we didn't say that, mm -hmm. but yeah, just, yeah, it, I just loved how they, kept, you could see them like, cause the water was quite clear and calm. So when they were kind of coming near the boat under the water, it just looked so cool. Yeah, definitely highly recommend. Um, I think it's, yeah, we didn't like, it wasn't too rough. We did take, um, Sea sickness tablets. I'm glad and, we did because yeah. at times it was just kind of rocky when we were stationary. It yes. was fine. No and one was seasick that I no. know. No. So the guy who the captain. captain kind of kept saying like sometimes he had to be side kind of on. side on like so that we could see what was happening and the boat would kind of just be like that. <laughs> that was a bit unpleasant yeah. but i felt fine but dan felt a little bit yeah i just went inside and funny. had a um cup of tea and i was okay i just feel like i start to feel headachey or something that usually is an indication that it's kind of coming on for me um or light not lightheaded it's hard to explain the feeling yeah. but i could just feel it was starting to come on so i just went inside and kind of settled myself down and i was fine also if you are going to go with whale song book directly through them because it gave us credit that we could use on board to For buy drinks like and a snacks drink and or stuff. a snack or something so and they had like you know some souvenirs and things so you may as well book direct i wanted to show you we bought strawberries at the strawberry farm mm. on the way in and we hadn't had them yet i grabbed yes. them out of the fridge oh yeah so. i kind of actually forgotten about them yeah we didn't realize when we were driving from bundaberg down to harvey bay that it was such a prolific kind of produce farming area. Um, we saw heaps of like macadamia and avocado farms, um, but a lot of them, they didn't, like it's obviously not the right season perhaps, um, but we did see a strawberry farm. This strawberry farm was like, oh my God, it was like very, a, very yeah. organized. It was like... you could. We had to go to the toilet and we kind of went into the back of like the, the factory. The factory yeah. And like, oh my God, I've there never seen so such a production. You going to try one? Yeah. So also, I will premise this with, we haven't eaten nice no, strawberries we haven't. for ages. They're really expensive in New South yes, Wales at the are. moment. And they are up here too. We used to live in Bacchus Marsh that had a strawberry farm <laughs> literally like down the down road the from road. where we live and so i would buy these a big thing of these like once a week and they were the best strawberries mm. oh they're, they're so nice. good they're sweet but they taste like strawberries mm. like you know how sometimes ones you buy from the supermarket are so bland mm. yeah. these have really delicious flavor i forgot about them so good welcome to maryborough we came in from Harvey Bay. It was about 40 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 didn't minutes. Take didn't take long. It was no. an easy drive. It is a beautiful, it is a beautiful sunny day. day. We're yes. just like basking up the last of these sunny days that we're going to get. Um, but we're going, so there's a couple of things that this place is famous for, right? Yeah, Mary, Mary Poppins. Poppins. <laughs> Not, Dan's like, this is where Mary Poppins is from. <laughs> I'm like, the, the author wrote Mary Poppins <laughs> yes. here. So there's a lot of Mary Poppins inspired things, statues, whatnot. It's a very historic town. Also, there is a mural trail. That's what we're going to tackle. So there's 36. A lot. 36 murals in this kind of small town area. Um, there was two in the information center which we already saw. They weren't that exciting, so uh, the, we'll show the you second one fun. was all right. I took a picture, so we might put it in if Eric <laughs> can be bothered. Um, but so we'll start at number three, which literally looked like it was across the road somewhere. So we'll go and figure that one out. So we've already failed. We can't find <laughs> number, number three. three. So we will head to number four and go from there. We found it. This didn't come far enough along. We're struggling a little bit. No, Number five. It was on the firehouse, but accessible. it looked all roped off, so we gave up. So we're heading back 
to try and find six and seven which are near each other. Five was like a long way away from all the others. So a bit annoying that we went there and couldn't <laughs> see it. <laughs> This one is number 17. We just found a whole heap in this little area, including three inside the library, which looks like a really cool library too, by the way. <laughs> this is the Brumbies. We've just done 25 and 26. We're in the park. It is a beautiful park and there's a river just over there. I'm a little bit over the mural walk now, but you know, we dan, you finish things that you start. So, we're powering on. We don't have to. <laughs> Benny, me. Okay, we didn't get to all of them, but we got to most of the murals in Maryborough. We've just been looking for something to eat and there's literally nothing that has jumped out at us and at all. A lot of the shops are closed down, I think. Maybe yeah. they didn't survive COVID, which is... A sad, bit sad yeah. but I'm gonna say my highlight of Maryborough is that the little lights on the mm -hmm. pedestrian crossings, you know, the red and the green man, man. that light up when you can cross no. a lot, they Mary are Mary Boppins. So the red one has like the umbrella down, like don't cross, and then the green one has the umbrella up. I think that's such a cute little touch, no? Lovely. It was very difficult to try and get a photo of though, but I loved it. Morning, it's Saturday again, so it's park run day. I do like the seven o'clock, I think. I think so. Yeah, because it's done over by eight. And we're generally early exercises, whereas yeah. with the eight o'clock one, like it's, you know, I'm not complaining, but I think, and particularly in summer, you're going to struggle with eight o'clock, I think. It'll be too hot. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to go and do the Harvey Bay Park Run. Seems to run along the water and it's a 2.5 out and a 2.5 back. Yes, and I'm going to go and check out the pier, which you rang in pier. It's really it's long. It's really, really, yeah. I think it's over a kilometre <laughs> long. I'm going to walk out there and check that out. Park Run, done. If anyone ever doubts that I actually do it, they just need to see my face. <laughs> so, <laughs> so red and... But that was a good one because the temperature was kind of perfect. The early beach one, it was too hot. Um, but this one was really good. Probably the fastest I've done in a while. It might be my second or third fastest park run. Um, they had paces, which I haven't done a pacer run before. So they have volunteers with vests on with the number of how what their pace is. So um unfortunately for me i was kind of right bang in the middle of two of them there was a 32 and a 37 and i do about there 35. Was i was ahead of 35. her i was ahead of the 35 yeah oh, i didn't okay. see her actually like i didn't overtake her or anything so she was behind me the whole time um i wanted originally to try and do the 32 but she was too fast for me um so yeah park run done we're gonna go and have some breakfast we found a really nice place yesterday called spotted goat which is literally around the corner from our um, accommodation <laughs> which is lucky we um, were planning on going there today but then after it was so delicious nice yesterday, we really had nice a coffee. really nice um pork sausage thing and a birch and muesli and there was other things on the menu we wanted to try so we were like we'll go back and um she just said like make sure you come early so i was like oh we'll come straight after park run so we're going to head up there now have some brekkie and then we pack up and get ready to leave. Well, it's time for us to say goodbye to Harvey Bay and we are now headed to the Gold Coast. So we're gonna be staying at the Gold Coast a couple of nights, um, visiting my grandmother and saying, catching up with some other friends, which is gonna be really lovely. I was just gonna say one really cool thing we liked about this Airbnb is that it has this keypad lock so you don't need a key i was asked to choose a code and then you just press the code to get in and unlocks and locks the door it's very cool i really like it for an airbnb because you can't lose the key and also you don't have to find the key and the key box and everything when you get there like it's all 
very easy. What's been your favourite thing about Harvey Bay? Oh, the whales for sure. <laughs> it's like no, no comparison. I've already said to Dan, right, I want to come back yeah. in like September, October, go whale watching and see like the, the difference. And, yeah. yeah. Um, and also go to Fraser Island. We'd really like to spend a couple of days there. Yeah, really we didn't exploring. do Fraser Island because we decided we wanted to do that as its own thing. So, yeah. We'll definitely be back here. What I think reckon? we will be back. <laughs> we also found like the best cafe in Harvey Bay around the corner for it. So, <laughs> if you've enjoyed our Harvey Bay video, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to watch our other travel videos. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.